Hello, this is Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima testing, testing. Man, something's going wrong with that amplifier. Hello, Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima testing against amplifier. Man, ain't something going on. I hope that dang antenna hadn't fell down again. Well, I guess I need to go out here and, and check it. I've been having all kind of problems with these uh, wire antennas from the uh, uh, wind storms and all this kind of stuff. Let's, let's see if I can see what's going on with this thing here. I don't know what's happening with it. What in the world? Oh, my goodness. What in the world happened there? Uh, oh, that's my VHF antenna, you big dummy. Hey there, YouTube. I am Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and welcome to another installment of Redneck Ham Radio. Well, guys, as y'all can probably tell already, one of the favorite parts of this, uh, this hobby that we call amateur radio is building antennas. So as you've seen at the intro, I, uh, and that really happened, just not, maybe not quite exactly like that, but, uh, anyhow, my, uh, uh intro there, when, uh, I was having problems with one of my HF antennas and I stepped outside the shack there and I seen some slack in my coax. I went to pull in on the slack on the coax. Well, I pulled the wrong coax. I ended up pulling my VHF antenna right down on my head. So anyhow, so after that, I needed another VHF antenna. So, but anyhow, that being said, uh, a couple years ago when I first got into the hobby, I had built a, a, a J-Pole. And I know there's tons of videos online already about J-Poles. Uh, mine may be a little bit different as I'm not going to build mine out of copper. Uh, I know copper is the better conductor. Uh, copper is also very expensive. So uh, me, uh, wanting to be in a hobby and also being very frugal and uh, uh, not, like, not liking to spend a lot of money, I decided to try something different and build mine out of galvanized steel. So when I say that, what I mean is... EMT conduit. So I had already built that. So uh, anyhow, I dis disassembled mine because it needed a, a little work uh, done to it. Like I said, I made it a, a, a few years ago. So anyhow, let's put this thing back together and I'm gonna give you the measurements of, of, of the way I done mine. And mine tuned it 146 megahertz, pretty good. So anyhow, let's, uh, let's put mine back together and uh, we'll uh, put it on the analyzer and uh, Maybe uh, see if we can work a few repeaters. Don't know if we can find anybody simplex, but we might can work a few repeaters. So anyhow, uh, you can build this thing with a little less than a joint. You can buy a joint of EMT conduit. I priced it yesterday at a, uh, at one of my hometown hardware stores for a $3.99 a joint. Uh, it's a 10-foot section. So at the big box stores, I'm not going to call any names, but y'all know what the big box stores are. So... Big box stores, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But anyhow, so what you need is you need one joint of the EMT conduit. You need, oh, excuse me, two elbows. I don't know if you can see this or not. Show it to this camera here. So you need uh, two elbows. I have two of them here. One of them you'll leave the cover on. One of them you'll have to pull the cover off. And the reason being is that this thing has a stop. Let's see if I can get closer to the camera here but anyhow this thing has a stop on the inside I don't know if you can see it or not right there and for your for your main radio you need to be able to let this thing go all the way through so what you have to do just like i did and i can't even remember what i used i'm sure it was a drill bit but anyhow you'll have to drill that thing out and uh, make it bigger where uh where your conduit will pass all the way through it so anyhow so uh what I've got for this radio here, from uh, from the tip end to where I'm going to put this thing. So let's go ahead and put this thing on here. And uh, the, which way is it? I got the right one? Yeah, I do. Well, I'll get it on there in a minute. It'll help if I put it on the right way, wouldn't it? Anyhow, pass this thing through here. And uh, it, the set screws itself will hold it for a little while. Uh, what I have done, though, is uh, where my set screw indentions were. I just went ahead and drilled a little hole there where the, uh, the set screw will uh, 
grab a hold and hold it real well there. So take my screwdriver there and uh, tighten that back up. Make sure I don't feel right. Make sure I've got that in the in the hole there, and I didn't. I knew that was wrong. Yeah, see that feels right. Anyhow, tighten the set screw up. Uh, where I got my measurements for this thing all together is I, I actually uh, I use an app, uh, Antenna Tool or something like that. Uh, I used to have an Android phone, so I use Antenna Tool. That's where I got my measurements to build this thing. So from, from the top of this connector to, let's see if I can hold this thing, to the end of this thing here is 146 centimeters. Yeah, that's right. I use the metric system, even though I'm a redneck, because it seems like it's smaller increments and it's just easier to, uh, to me, it's easier to measure. So anyhow, uh, but anyhow, it's 146 to the uh, to the top of this. This is where our little stub is going to go, and we're going to put our uh, our tuning stub there. So for our tuning stub, I ended up having to cut a little piece here. Uh, this piece is I'm it down. Huh? This piece is four centimeters long. So and it will uh, it'll go in here like such. And then the other the other elbow, that's where it comes in at. It will go in right here, just like this. Line it up, take my screwdriver, tighten it up here. And then, so, my tuning stub, uh, total length, I didn't measure the total length of the tuning stub before I put it in the, uh, in the deal there. It total looks to be 40, looks to be uh, 48 centimeters. So, anyhow, same thing, this thing in here, line it up with the uh, set screws there, take my screwdriver, tighten it up, and tighten them all up there real good. But anyhow, that one's not wanting to tighten up real good. Probably because I had it done with set screws to start with. But anyhow, so, see, we end up with a J-pole. Uh, some of you may or, 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 or may not know, but this length here really doesn't matter. Uh, this is what you're going to connect it with anyway. So, uh, something that I had done, because it did have a, 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 a little, bit of, little bit of flop to it. So, I found this... Uh, this PVC fitting right here. I just took it, put it right in the middle right there where we would take and hold it. And I uh, used a little, uh, I don't know what that, little rubber band type thing. I, I think it may have been a, a ponytail holder from my wife that I stole or, or something like that. But uh, anyhow, I'll put that on there here in just a minute. We'll cut me a little piece of coax. So let's we'll see, I've got I hear my deer feeder going off in the background there, but uh, anyhow, so center conductor. Now I've seen this thing made both ways: center conductor to the top to the radial, center conductor to the to the tuning uh, tuning stub. Well, anyhow, we're going to put this one to the top radial, main radial, and the other side to the uh, uh, to the stub there. All right. So what I did measurement wise for the feed point, so. To the top of the feed point, length of the radial top of to the feed point is 140 centimeters. My stub from the top of the stub to the feed point is uh, 43 centimeters. Anyhow, let's uh, I'm gonna get this thing put together, and uh, I'm gonna put it up on a little piece of pipe. We're gonna hook the analyzer up to it, and uh, see how it tunes, and uh, then we may try to work a uh, uh, a couple of repeaters after that. Be right back. All right, guys. I am back. So if we take a look, we'll see. There is my J pole in the air. It's on a piece of pipe there, and it's uh roughly, I don't know, it's about 15, 15, maybe 20 foot. You know, it isn't real high. And uh 
So we'll follow the coax over here to where I've got the uh, got the analyzer. Uh, I actually learned a few things on this rebuild here. And uh, one thing, if you, uh, instead of using the set screws, if you do put holes in there where, where you can, the set screws and make a little better connection, don't drill them too big because that's what I did. I made the holes too big. And so then it, uh, it wobbled pretty bad. Uh, also, this antenna does need, uh, I guess you call it an ugly ballon. So I take a little piece of a uh, piece of PVC pipe, uh, two inch piece of PVC pipe, and I, I roll me about a about four to five wraps around it, that uh, short piece of PVC pipe, probably three inches long, something like that. And I wrap me about five wraps on there and put some tie wraps on it, and uh, that makes a a pretty good choke there to kind of uh, match the uh, input impedance of that antenna. Uh, let's turn this uh, turn this analyzer on here. Boy, it looks like my batteries are getting low. But anyhow, so uh, we're going to check the uh, the full bandwidth of this thing. So I'm backing my frequency down. So we have 1.5 SWR right there at 139 megahertz. So we're going to take it up, take it up. 140, 141, 142, 43, 44. And you see it appears to be look really good at a, right at the bottom at 144 megahertz there going up to 146. So there we are, 146 megahertz roughly. 1.2 SWR. Uh, on up, on up, on us, go up to its C's, gets to 1.5. So I give you, I mean, roughly, you've got a, uh, you've got a, a bandwidth of that antenna from a 140 to 148 megahertz, which, you know, more than enough to cover the, uh, the two meter hound band there. So this, uh, Let's step in the shack here, and I'm going to see if maybe we can uh, work a couple repeaters. So, uh, be back in just a minute. All right, hey guys, here we are, back in the shack. And uh, let's see if we can uh, make a few, uh, uh, work a few repeaters here. Uh, that's our local repeater right there. Uh, it is uh, roughly uh, 11 miles from my current location. I, I normally always operate this one at low power. So anyhow, let's uh, see if we can work this repeater here. This is AI5BL. Uh, I'm testing an antenna. Okay, so there must not be anybody monitoring. But anyway, you see I got a full... Uh, uh, full signal back on a squelch tail from the from the repeater there. So, uh, uh oh, sorry about that. I spiked the mic accidentally. But anyhow, let's go uh, go to our next repeater. So next channel up. This repeater is about 18.6 miles. Uh, I normally uh, operate this repeater, uh, repeater, this repeater <laughs> at, uh, at medium power. So let's try this one. Uh, this is AI5BL. I am testing an antenna. All right, so you see there, uh, I got about a about half scale on it, uh, operating it, uh, work, working that repeater there at a uh, at, at 25 watts. So let's uh, let's go up to another, say, uh, so this repeater right here is a KE5 WFG. It's roughly about 35 watts, or this 35 watts, about 35 miles from me here. So uh, we're gonna see if we can work this repeater. This is AI5BL uh, testing an antenna. And see, we get about a about quarter scale on it there, I guess. So, uh, uh, doesn't appear to be anybody monitoring. So, uh, we're going to check one more. So, let's go up to, uh, to this repeater right here. This repeater is about 30 miles from me. And uh, let's see if we can work it. This is AI5BL. I'm testing an antenna. And you see, uh, about the same there, about a uh, about quarter scale. So we see that the uh, you know the uh, uh, the the J pole made of, uh, of, of out of EMT conduit, which is galvanized steel. And uh, we mentioned before, you know, that is not the best conductor. Copper is definitely the best conductor, but uh, in a pinch, 
you're a little short on funds, uh, you can build this antenna for about half the price that you can build the one out of copper. All right, guys, I want to say uh, thanks for tuning in. I also want to thank you for the overwhelming response that I've got from this channel. All the great comments. Uh, keep it coming, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on the videos. And uh, until next time, have a blessed day. What's left of it. This is Alpha India 5 Bravo Lima, and I'm going QRT.